Fun fact about me. Me and Rick James actually have the same birthday. And his middle name is Ambrose. So basically, I mean, I literally am Rick James, bitch. Hi guys, as you can see from the title, today's video um, is going to be talking about some torrid denim. Now, I personally have had a love-hate relationship with torrid denim since they opened or since I was aware of torrid in their denim. Um, my main issue was that the waist would be too small for me to go down the size and have the legs fit and not have any extra material around the area underneath my butt um, and no matter how skinny they said the jean was um, when it tapered it would because I had to go a size up for the waist it would be like this baggy more like tapered jeans like back in the day if I could find an example of what I'm talking about I will make sure to post it I've never really liked torrid jeans I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you um, I have a boyfriend cut pair that's like meant to be kind of baggy and they're very distressed I do like those but again those have absolutely no stretch to them and um, they're very rough but again they're boyfriend jeans so they're supposed to be so those are the only ones that I have that I will actually wear um, I don't have a picture of me in them I, I will try to include a picture from the website on the jeans on what I'm referring to when I say boyfriend jeans so um, what I did was I've been hearing a lot about Torrid's new denim um, they kind of relaunched it almost like a whole section of their website dedicated to just denim so I said okay you know what I'm gonna give Torrid denim another chance so I placed an order I got a little bit more than denim but the focus of this haul is me trying out the denim I got this what I thought was a cami <laughs> didn't read was moving kind of quick I liked it because in plus size fashion we don't typically get camis that have this kind of twist on it um, when I, I'm working from home now but typically when I'm in the office what I like about my business casual attire for work is that I wear items that are traditional with a little bit of spin on it so my slacks will come in a in a royal blue color or you know I like to have eggplant blazer you know I like to put a little twist on the basics so that it doesn't feel boring and I, I still have my style a bodysuit that actually snaps at the crotch which I'm not I'm not a fan of the ones that you have to snap I prefer the ones that you have to step into but snapping does help for like if you have to use the bathroom let's be real um, so you don't have to completely get naked in the stall. I have never tried a bodysuit from Torrid. When bodysuits first came available to plus size, Torrid wasn't on that trend. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Torrid was not in the bodysuit game. You had to go to your boohoos, your fashion novas, your she ins, and the issues with those are those sorts tend to sometimes run small. So if you're larger and you don't fit those sizes, you just really weren't in the body suit gang you know what I'm saying so um, I'm kind of happy that I made that error because I have never tried a body suit from store from Torrid so um, yeah I think it's um, really nice you'll see in the side by side that um, I was able just to pull it on I didn't have to unsnap it or snap it it's stretchy enough to where I was able just to pull it right on um, the coloring did not distort or whitewash once I put it on um, I had enough room in the torso area to pull it up higher if I wanted a more modest chest I also could pull it down more if I wanted to show a little bit more um, I would not wear the bra I had on the video with it because it clearly shows all of the back um, I would typically wear my um, strapless bra with this and if you guys have 
questions on strapless bras, please let me know. I will say this. Um, a lot of people don't like Torrid because they're very expensive. I'm just gonna say it. And um, they also feel like they, um, they direct their clothing towards a very specific set or group of people, which I can understand. It is true. Torrid is very specific in their styles. It's, it's on the gothic end. But there are ways to shop toward without spending an arm and a leg and to get pieces that you cannot get at these fast fashion places and not for this quality. So I still, Torrid is an OG. I still love me some Torrid. There are just things that they do that these other brands can't get down with. This bodysuit is one. It is extremely comfortable, extremely stretchy, very good quality. And I just don't think that this would have had the same fit had it have been at a Fashion Nova, a Boohoo, or a Shein, okay? There's a time and a place for fast fashion place, and there's a time and a place where you just go ahead and you get quality items. So, um, this is listed as $25 US, 32, I'm sorry, $25.50 US, $32.50 Canada. Um, and I got it for, I got it for $16.57, okay? So, got a bit of a deal on that one. Um, so I did go ahead and pair it with the first set of the jeans. I'm gonna be honest with you, I wore these jeans. I never wore my clothes before a haul. But the main thing that I wanted to see with these pants, um, what happens is a lot of the jeans start to stretch out. They start to stretch out in the area underneath your butt and they start to stress out in the knees, just weird places where the pants start to look horrible. So I actually wore these out. I have a picture that I will show you of me wearing it out one night. And I had these on for a significant amount of hours. I even sat down, had dinner in them, lots of food, lots of good food. Um, and I wasn't like having to unbuckle my pants at the end of the day. Um, so I got these in a 28 because when I previously shopped at Torrid, like I said, I had an issue with the um, denim not fitting in the waist. I wanted to be sure. So I got these in the 28. They're called the Bombshell Skinny High Rise Comfortably Lifts and Shapes. Super skinny leg open. Super skinny. So I was sold when I saw super skinny. I got regular, but I'm starting to think that I should have got short. I go back and forth on that portion um the jeans retail for 85 dollars and 50 cents in the u.s and 107 dollars and 50 cents in canada okay um i paid for them do to do 55 dollars that is a deal okay 55 dollars and let me just show you so the thing that makes these jeans different is all around the inside is spandex, not the outside. So you're not out here in maternity jeans, but the inside has this stretchy band all the way around. So what that does is it makes it so that you don't have that annoying gap in the back, but the jeans will lay flat onto you. They will go around your waist. They will accentuate your waist. Now you have to have your proper sizing or you will have muffin top. Um, so that's what I was concerned about. You'll see here that the jeans have distressing here. It's black, so it's kind of hard to see here on the knee. Not a lot of distressing, but down the thigh a little bit and on the knee. Um, these pockets are so fake and shallow, and this is it. I don't know why they think women don't want pockets. Like... So, very shallow pockets in the front. The most you could put in here is a, a small lip gloss. I wouldn't put any money in there, it could fall out. Pockets in the back. Okay, like I said, these are in a 28. I think they fit good, okay? They were um, good length, not too long for me. Um, you really couldn't see the distressing the way I would have wanted you to, but that's fine there are other pants um and i like the way they fit on my leg the only thing is i didn't like the way that it shaped my butt and i couldn't figure out what it was but i figured it out on the next pair 
but for all intents and purposes um i really like these jeans i will be wearing these jeans they were comfortable the whole time that i was at dinner um as you can see from the side by side i could put my whole hand down the side but yet the jeans weren't baggy or ill-fitting on me um they look really good with that bodysuit i think they're flattering on me um the butt again it kind of had your sis looking like she was built like a wisdom tooth I don't care for the butt, how it makes my butt look, but I don't care. Like, I'm, I mean, I want to always wear stuff where I feel like I look good in it. I mean, I don't feel like it made my butt look horrendous, but it didn't do it any favors. Um, now, the next pair are these gray pairs. Now, I have tried, I just turned my computer on, sorry guys. I have tried to buy gray denim for a very long time. I bought some from Old Navy. The ones from Old Navy were so, had a super long crotch, baggy in the thigh. They were thin, they were wearing, but not even in a cute way. I had got a pair from Torrid. They even had a stretchy band at the waist, but they looked horrible on me. They were getting baggy towards the end. Whole, whole ordeal, whole ordeal. So when I saw these, I said, you know what, let's give it another try. Again, these are the exact same jeans as the others. These I have not worn. Um, you can see the tag is still on them. Uh, bombshell skinny. And these again, $85. So, yeah. 28 regular for these also. Um, these fit a little bit tighter probably because I have not worn them. I didn't wear them out. This is my first time actually slipping them on. Um, they come up really, really high. I like them I think they're cute but I did not like and I figured out the reason why it doesn't shape my butt as well is because there is a little bit of extra fabric right towards the end of my butt where the butt meets the thigh and that takes away some of the shape or dimension of your butt so if ever you're wearing jeans and your butt looks weird in the jeans that is usually the culprit. It is usually that there is some baggy material in the wrong spot for your shape. And that's the case with these. Again, it does not look horrible, but it does not do me any favors. Does not do me any favors. Now, um, I do like these jeans. I'm definitely gonna keep them because of the color. Um, I think they look pretty cool with the bodysuit suit too. Um, but maybe better with like a sweater. I could definitely see me pairing these with a sweater. Now, now that we're talking about these bombshell skinnies, we're gonna compare them to what I feel are the best jeans for both plus size and straight size, okay? The best denim, in my opinion, and in most opinion, is none other than American Eagle. American Eagle, come in, please, please, have a seat, have a seat, American Eagle. Let's talk to you for a minute. Now understand, American Eagle did not always carry plus size, and they are still very limited in their plus size. They stop at a 24. These are a 28. I have a pair of American Eagle jeans that I absolutely love. It is, I saw what all the hype was about, I was like, oh yes. So I want to show you the difference in me wearing what I feel are the best jeans on the market for both straight and plus size next to these Torrid jeans. So these American Eagle jeans are extremely distressed. They are. Um, not all my jeans are distressed, but when I wear denim like to work, honestly, I mean, I don't wear denim to work. If it's a casual day, that's not me casual. So. When I wear jeans, it's for a look. So that's why I get a lot of distressed jeans. Um, these fit very comfortably and they're 24. These are the so you can see the here. Extremely distressed. Extremely distressed. There's no stretchy thing they're just regular denim um and these are the curvy high rise um they're like next level stretch um by american eagle you know they put all their little words on the pocket there actual really deep front pockets um these are great now in these in my opinion my butt looks way better 
it looks way better. And that is because there is not material pulled around the base of the bottom of my butt. Now for me, the telltale sign if a jean is gonna work or not is when I put them on. If when I pull them up, they are snug all the way up to my crotch, and then I have to do a separate shimmy and pull for the top, that is when the jeans are gonna work. Like Beyonce say, if you jump to put jeans on, baby, you ain't feeling my pain, okay? So if, the, if I don't have to jump and wiggle and adjust to pull the jeans up, then they typically are not going to look right on me. That means that they're baggy in the wrong places and they don't fit. Now, everybody has their preference. If you don't like your jeans tight, maybe you're more of a boyfriend jean type person, and that's absolutely fine. But your girl, there's a time and a place for that, okay? Now, I did, like I said, I got more than denim, so I'm gonna show you guys. I got these shoes. Now, the reason why I'm showing you guys these shoes is because I got some like this at Forever 21, but they were like neon and um, plastic, which is fine. I mean, they're, they were like 10 bucks. And um, they're very comfortable, but they weren't, they're a play. You know, like, oh, look, she's being cute with with plastic nylon sandals on and a Simpson sweater that has not, you know, that has neon in it. I said nylon, huh? That has neon in it. Um, but these were black and they were like a faux leather look, kind of shiny, but not super shiny. And I was like, you know what? These are cute. I'm gonna get these. Now, Normally these would be $29.50 US, $37.50 Canada, and I paid $19.17. And I'm sorry, they're rubber, they're rubber. That's what they are. So um, yeah, I thought these were super cute, easy to wipe off with that Rona, that's what you wanna do. You wanna be able to have shoes you can wipe off for right now. And I will say this, um, where I live, it is still hot. It is still hot, okay? Like, matter of fact, my air conditioner's on, and I should probably turn it off because y'all probably can hear me that well. So that drastic difference in audio, you can thank me for, because I'm gonna be sweating bullets just to do it for you. Meant to turn it off before, but it's hot. Okay, so yeah, these I love. Um, they fit perfect. These are an eight wide. On shoes like this, I always tend to put the buckle as far as it'll go. But actually in these, um, I can adjust them. I don't have to have the buckle on the very last one because I actually have some wiggle room in my shoes. So yeah, I definitely recommend picking these up. They're probably gonna go on sale soon because it is fall, so. And then I didn't put these on in the video. But these are fishnet garter tights. So um, I do wear fishnets with some of like my mini skirts and like in the fall sometimes I wear like a mini skirt, a leather jacket and I'll have like some fishnets on. Yes, I have, I have like alternate personalities in these streets, okay? And uh, the issue that I have with the fishnets are that sometimes at towards the top, the stomach, around by the butt, you can feel this texture through the clothes or the clothes will be rubbing up against this thicker texture stocking and I hated it. I would get through the night with it, it wasn't that big of a deal, but I wanted knee highs or thigh highs, but the issues with thigh highs are they will come tumbling down, especially when you have big thighs, okay? So the beauty of these are they have this garter attached that goes around your waist, almost as if they were tight. The whole thigh part and the part that would be under your clothing is completely exposed and is skin. And um, you can just live your best life. Now, what I will tell you is your best bet if you are wearing fishnets and you have on, um, and you're wearing your shoes, it's gonna sound crazy, but trust me, put your toes through the holes. Put your holes through the toes, even if you're wearing peep toe shoes, and then put the fishnets on. Don't try to keep them toes within the fishnets. It's gonna just ruin your whole day. Um, I got these in a three slash four. 
um, that fits the 22 to 26 and yeah I don't need to um, try these on I know they fit I have so many pairs of fishnets from Torrid um, and stockings from Torrid so uh, I may insert a picture of these but I mean they're pretty self-explanatory they do have on them this uh, coating I'm, I'm trying to see if you can see it so that it'll stick to your thigh so even though it has these straps or it has this waistband they still are um, they still have that material so that it'll stick to your leg so yeah these were normally normally 2250 in Canada or 1950 in the US and I paid $12.67 so you can't beat that with a stick also good for Halloween costumes good to pair with lingerie um, yeah and to be honest with you they're even at full price they're really good quality they're not that that um, they're not stocking material yet fishing it this is like an actual like soft rope stretchy material like you'll love trust me if, if you if you're into that type of fashion, that is the go-to place. Um, so all in all, um, my thoughts are the jeans are really good. Um, I like them. I think that if I had been in store, I probably would have tried a 26 just to see if it would have been better But wise for me. I still had plenty of stretch in the waist that I could have utilized, but... We'll see. Um, Torrid is actually open in most of these places for curbside, meaning you can order stuff and they'll come and bring it off to the curb, or you can still order and have things shipped. Um, I can do another video on Torrid if you guys like, because when I bought these items, I earned Torrid cash, so I earned a hundred dollars off of my next purchase and that is the thing about torch you guys need to understand if you, um if you have one in your area never buy full price because there are always going to be either 35 percent off um new items or there's going to be buy one get one half off or um there'll be and when you buy from that sale you will accumulate torrent cash and torrent cash you can then use towards actual money off of an item you can also shop their clearance their clearance is amazing okay shop the clearance and get certain items go to clearance first on the website see what you can get from there and then if you see something that you like that's regular price go and apply um, go Google search and I'm sure you will find some type of code or some type of coupon but my in my opinion the secret for Torrid is to get the items that you cannot get anywhere else items that you want to last items that you want to be quality shop clearance always look for sales um, and yeah Torrid is the OG and they finally came through with some good denim so I'm telling you guys you heard it here first from a person who does not care for jeans that the jeans at Torrid the bombshell skinny they get my stamp of approval they are um, they're up there with the fit of my American Eagle. American Eagle makes my butt look better, but Torrid has the sizing. And um, so if I wanted to go up a size in Torrid, I can. If I wanted to go up a size in American Eagle, I couldn't. But I will say that with American Eagle, I'm able to size down, okay? Um, my American Eagle jeans are two sizes smaller than my Torrid. So that leads me to believe that if you are anywhere between a 26 to a 30 and plus size um, depending on the jeans you may still be able to use wear jeans from American Eagle because again I'm a 24 in American Eagle um, and in most places I get a 26 or a 28 just to be to make sure that the waist fit so um, that's all my rambling on that on denim um, I will have a video on some wide calf boots for you guys um, and I'm going to be doing a, a review of the VIP Savage X Fenty um, membership. And I'm going to be giving you guys an update on the items that I've gotten from Skim, how, Skims, how everything is wearing and, and feeling now. So make sure that you 
are subscribed so that you don't miss any of the knowledge I'm about to drop. I'm out here just making it rain on these hoes so that you guys can know what to buy. I don't return this stuff, I don't. But what I can tell you is, stay tuned for that Poshmark video because I gotta get rid of some of this stuff. I've been going crazy and it's time to purge. But that's all I have for you guys. I love you, I mean it. Bye!